What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Darian and if those of you who have been following me on my 90 day pledge, uh, you guys know that this is our second week of our pledge and I want to see how you guys are doing. How have you been handling this pledge so far? Uh, were you able to do the meal prepping that we discussed last week? Uh, last week I forgot to show you what I use. Uh, this is what I normally use for meal prepping. It's just a nice Three, three compartment uh, washable microwavable container and having these come in really handy especially with meal prepping uh, it's important to meal prep especially for those of you who are beginning this keto journey because the last thing you guys want to uh, be in is when you're hungry when it's time for you to eat and you're hungry and you're not you don't have anything ready of, of in front of you so you just eat whatever is in front of you and that's when disaster happens so again meal prepping is important so how you guys been handling that? Uh, please leave a comment to let me know. Uh, I'm trying to find other avenues of reaching out to you in a more personal basis, one-on-one. -on -one. I did set up an Instagram account. Uh, it's going to be Darian underscore 408. That's D-A-R-R-I-E-N underscore 408, all lowercase. Uh, also, I'll be leaving my email uh, up on top on the description. Hopefully, if, uh, I can find a way to reach out to you in a more one-on-one -on -one basis to see if there's anything I can do to help you or to answer any questions that you may have. I really do want to make this more interactive uh, as possible. So with that said, please leave a comment or reach out to me and let's talk about it. So let's talk about what's going to happen this week. So this week, I want you guys now to start intermittent fasting. Keto is going to get a little bit more serious now. So we're going to start intermittent, uh, intermittent fasting with our keto diet. And basically what intermittent fasting is, is that we're going to do what's called 16-8 intermittent fasting. So that means 16 hours of fasting, 8 hours of eating. What does that mean? For me, that means from between 12 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the evening is my window of eating. And that is my allotted time. Intermittent fasting, there's a lot of benefits to, to it. Uh, I do suggest that you follow some other YouTubers that I follow that gives you a better, more precise scientific explanation of fasting, if you guys want to know. And some of those people would be, for example, Dr. Eric Berg, Dr. Stein Eckberg, Dr. Ken D. Berry. I like these three a lot because being doctors, they can give you a clear, more scientific explanation on the benefits of intermittent fasting and keto. Also, the way they explain it is very easy to understand. Now, there's another, also Dr. Jason Fong. He's a leading diabetic expert and you know also a leading expert on um, intermittent fasting as well. But his explanations is a little bit too scientific for me and a little bit uh, harder for me to understand. But if you guys wanted something more nerdy, follow him, Dr. Jason Fung. Now, a couple other YouTubers I follow is one YouTube channel called Beat Diabetes. I like this guy a lot because he does all the guesswork for us. As far as, for, like for example, I'm a diabetic. Um, he'll go ahead and he'll eat something, whether that be a banana, a white bread, wheat bread, or what have you. He'll test himself before, during, and after to show you the spike in his blood sugar. And you'll be surprised at some of the results that uh, come about his tests. So if he's wanting to prick himself and test, God bless him because I hate it. Now, another YouTuber that I follow is Thomas DeLauer. This guy, this guy was able to lose over 100 pounds. Um, he is very technical when it comes to keto. He, he does what's called clean keto, meaning that he'll, t he'll show you how to read the back of food labels and really break down each ingredient, what is healthy, what is bad, what uh, fats to avoid, what are good fats. Very, very technical. Now, if you like those type, type of things, uh, Tom, Tom DeLauer, he's excellent for that. Uh, he does a lot of uh, things like going to Costco and does keto hauls. I was thinking about doing that, but since he already has a very in-depth explanation on and better what, than what I can explain to you, so I, I think that's best for you to watch his channel to see, if, for example, going to Costco, what is keto-friendly and what is not and what to avoid. 
things like that was going to be very helpful for you in your keto journey. So I highly suggest that you follow these other YouTubers that I've just mentioned and I'll leave the description on top uh, just to give you a clearer explanation. Again, for me, I'm not here to, sh to, to preach to you about keto or what have you. I'm just here simply showing you what I have done in the past, uh, over the past year to lose almost 80 pounds just doing the keto diet. For my pledge, I'm still with keto, but I am now implementing exercise into my routine because I need to break the wall. Exercise routine to help me lose the additional weight that I want to lose. And with, with that said, I have some excellent news. Um, I have a personal trainer now. I start training with him every Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And I can't wait to, to see the results that I can get from having a, a personal trainer really help me with uh, working out and teaching me the, the uh, proper exercise routines and what have you. So I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully you're going to be seeing some uh, some amazing results. And I'm, I'm excited for that. So what's going to happen for this week? Again, we're going to do intermittent fasting. From 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock will be your time that you can eat. Now, for those of you who work night shifts or what have you, find your window your eight hour window that you can uh, allocate to for your eating window uh, so that's up to you <laughs> whatever works and, fit and fits your schedule so it's a 16 8 16 hour of fasting eight hours of eating now for this coming week you should be getting into ketosis if you're following the steps that uh, we've been taking uh, so far so one thing that I do need to mention you, and if you guys have not heard of it, heard about it, is called the keto flu. Don't be too alarmed by that. That that's a scary word, the flu, especially nowadays with COVID. But a keto flu is basically uh, when your body is getting to ketosis, you're gonna be feeling. Uh, some people have different results. For example, I have a friend who, when, when he was getting ketosis, he was getting the shivers, the shakes, almost like. Uh, a carb withdrawal or people uh, almost like a drug withdrawal where you get the shivers the shakes the cold sweats uh, some people uh, feel a little bit nauseated uh, but the trick is is just to make sure that you are well hydrated because a lot has to do with dehydration so make sure that you drink a lot of electrolytes and just put a little bit of salt in your water that's gonna help you with your keto flu and a keto flu usually last about two to four days in general and it's really not that bad but if you do feel that you should feel excited because you know it's working and you know in the next few days you'll be in ketosis now how do you know if you're in ketosis well the things that you can buy uh in at your local drugstore is called ketone strip which is the little strips the little pea strips that when you pee on it if it turns purple and depending on the shade of purple it shows um how deep into ketosis you are. There are also devices like Keto Mojo and stuff like that, which is again, just like a, um, uh, a tester where you prick yourself and it, it'll give you your ketones and what have you. Those are a little bit more precise than the keto strips that you can buy at the local uh, drugstore. Now, another way you can find that you're not in ketosis is your body will tell you. When you wake up with that clarity, when you wake up like you just everything just seems clear and then brighter, as, and you feel more euphoric and energized, that's a sign that you're in ketosis. Another thing is uh, what they call the keto breath. Yeah, that's a, one of the drawbacks. So the keto breath is not really bad breath, but it's the ketones releasing from your body. So it's a very metallic -y taste in your mouth. So you taste that. Um, you, that is a, a sign that you might be in ketosis. Now, a, a funny story is my niece was, uh, my niece is doing keto and when she first started doing keto uh, late last year, uh, she was complaining that uh, her taste buds were off and she was having a metallic taste in her mouth. Well, because of COVID, I completely panicked and goes, oh no, you need to go check. Uh, you need to go see if, you know, if you have COVID or what have you. But my wife nudged me and goes, that's keto breath. And then I go, oh, you're right. It is keto breath. 
And sure enough, she didn't have keto. I mean, sure enough, she didn't have COVID and she was in ketosis. So there are some indication, indicators that, can that you can tell that you are finally in ketosis. One is, you know, the euphoric feeling, feeling energized, wide-eyed, just really clear mind thinking um, is the best way for me to describe it. Uh, that is, is one of the major benefits of being ketosis is because it gives you that extra energy and just that clearer mindset uh, to go about your day. You wake, for, me, for example, for me, I'm not a morning person whatsoever. Even though I have two young kids and I, I wake up at six o'clock every day, it's a struggle. But being on keto, I'm completely fine. I wake up at six o'clock ready, energized, and ready to start my day. So that's some of the things, uh, telltale signs to look out for, to know if you're in ketosis, all right? So quick recap. This week, we're going to do intermittent fasting, 16-8. You should be getting into ketosis this week. Uh, things that you can tell is what we discussed earlier. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, a little update about myself. So I'm going to be honest. The census is a true to you pledge. I'm going to be true to myself and true to you guys and be honest. I did cheat this weekend. I had an opportunity to take my family and um, with Matt's family from Fisherman's Life to go on a camping trip and I could not refuse that. So I, I went camping with them and I had a, such a great time. I, I took my daughter fishing uh, for trout and unfortunately we didn't catch anything but the whole experience was just wonderful to be to be out there with nature. So I did cheat a little bit and that's why I am currently on a 48, 48 hour fast. Uh, I started my fast at Sunday at 8 o'clock was my last meal. And my first meal will be today at 8 o'clock, which is Tuesday. So I do record on Tuesday and upload on Tuesday because I want to keep it as real time as possible. So unfortunately, lost any weight. I'm still 202.9. But hopefully the trainer that I am now working with, uh, hopefully in the weeks to come, you're going to see a bigger and more dynamic, uh, drastic change. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope that um, I see you next week with better and greater results. I look forward to hearing from you, uh, either through the comments or please, again, reach out to me through my email or through my Instagram. Uh, I do want to make this as interactive as possible because I do want to be able to for us to support one another in this journey. So again, thank you very much for being with me and being here and sharing this journey with me. I really appreciate it. Take care, I'll see you next week.